here we are my first diamond painting finish for diamond art club hi all i'm courtney lyons with diamonds are a girl's best friend and yeah i do content for diamond painting um i'm new on this journey i haven't i mean this is my first diamond art club finish and even before that i haven't finished a lot uh and i just have to say diamond art club has its name for a reason like its reputation because every little drill on here was a joy to work with um i am going to do a quick review um with this a more extensive one um but i just thought this was like i'm gonna do use this spot for a pan over and then i'm going to move to maybe the kitchen table or something um but this just has the best lighting so i just wanted to show you guys get some of that movement in there so you can see the drill quality and how shiny that is. It is a square. And this one is called Fearless Familiar. Familiar. I can say that right. Um, yeah, before we do that, I will point out that there are three ABs and one fairy dust diamond. Um, so right here you can see there's a lot of these gray. They were dark gray ABs, but I mean, honestly, depending on the lighting, it has this like very... I mean, classic Aurora Borealis look. Look at those, you can see that green, the blue, the purples in there, it's just gorgeous. So that was mostly interspersed throughout here, up here, along here, um, along the cat's body, everywhere. So there's that one. And then the other drill that was the Aurora Borealis drill is right here, it's the lighter gray color. It had more of like a steel shimmer to it, like a, a metallic shimmer to it. Just make sure that doesn't pop up. It's not. It's just kind of crooked. <laughs> I had help. My kids helped me with this one. Uh, they did a pretty good job, though. Uh, mostly that's over here. There's maybe like little spots over here. There's like a little bit right there. Um, a little bit. And here. So it's almost kind of like this is kind of the darker side and this is the lighter side and I thought that was cool. Um, the last AB is actually only in its eyes. And we had so much fun. Actually, if you probably watched the short before I put this one up of us placing the last drills on there. You know what's funny? Is we're like, yay, we finished! <laughs> we were so excited. And then I looked closely and there were like two drills, fairy dust drills were missing there. So. Oh, and then like one dark one right there. And I was like, ah, oh. <laughs> but that's okay. It was still fun. All right, I'm going to just do a quick pan over and then I'll take you down to look at the drills and kind of give you, I mean, like I said, it was a joy to work with, but there were just maybe like one or two things that I wish would be a little different. my phone on a stand but my son broke that um he tends to break things but he's a little boy right uh so I a few things with this painting um for how long it took me I mean I know I started it back in October the 19th actually um or the 18th which is funny the 19th is our anniversary there's a funny story about that too but I won't go into it now um yeah, so the, uh, for how long it would have taken me, I would say probably 60 hours, maybe less. I don't know. It's hard because I started and stopped on this one quite a bit. And I just don't think it was my first one. And I, it's when I started learning how to do multi-placing. So, um, which you really is like something you have to kind of get good at. Um, but yeah. The uh, drill field, like, so that's about how long it took me. The drill field was, I mean, 
there was no, I mean, it was so super clear as Diamond Art Club is well known for. So I didn't have much problem with that. There was one issue that I had with drills, I'll turn this this way, uh, with the symbols. And now I'm actually trying to remember it because it wasn't a big deal, but every once in a while it would throw me. And I think it was, had something to do with the stars. Well, if I remember, I'll get back to you. So apparently it wasn't that big of a deal. Um, no, 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 it was, yeah, I don't remember. And it could have been another one I'm thinking of right now. Uh, but yeah, there was, there was, a, I believe there were two symbols that kind of threw me a little bit. And I had to get used to and I would get him confused every once in a while. It was the two of the grays. Oh no, I know what it is. It was this five and the three. Because the five and the threes. And the three is the um the A B actually, as you can see here. This setup, first time kidding up, was not good, and I will never set it up like this again. <laughs> One, two spots, three spots for the threes. Um, anyway, and I still had leftovers, so, uh, because I have a bag right here that I had my, uh, overflow in that was completely full with stuff when I first started, and I will never do that again. This will only be for small kits. Um, so yeah, the three right here, and the five, so in spots like this, so like here's the threes, and I believe the fives, yeah, yeah. I think these fives are right next to it. Well, anywhere there were that dark gray ABs, the threes, there were fives next to it to blend it or something. And it, I, I'm i sure there's some threes that should be fives and fives that should be threes there because I mix them up a lot. I mean, like I said, I got used to it, but it was, it was pretty confusing at first. Okay, I'm sorry, it's freezing in this room upstairs because we don't heat it usually and it's the furthest away from the kids right now. They're just watching some TV to have a break from homeschooling. Um, yeah, so it's cold up here. So sorry if I shiver. Um, let's see. That was it, though, for as far as confusion on the drills. And even then, it was very clear. But it was they were both dark background with a lighter print, five and three. And it just threw me every once in a while. Um, let's see. The other issue I had, and I don't know if I could show you very easily, these L's, which I believe are like the 823 or something like that, uh, 825, something like that. It's a very dark navy blue, had a lot of trash in it, as well as these 310s. And I know the darker colors like that, where you, there's a lot of them um, produced, will often get a lot of trash in them. But the rest of the drills were near perfect. They were beautiful. Every once in a while you'd get that little bubble hole at the top of them and I just avoid them. Um, I do plan on with Satura uh, having a spot for trash drills just to show you guys after the fact. Um, but yeah, the, the L's and the three tens, which there are a lot of them <laughs> on the painting, started to get a little bit of an annoying how many trash drills there were and having to pick through them, especially since there was a lot of multi-placing involved with those. Um, I'd say those are my only two issues because holy crap, like <laughs> I, I feel like I'm even nitpicking with those two things because this is what, I mean, made me fall in love with Diamond Art Club because I'm like, this is a step above all the other ones that I've tried. Just a gorgeous, gorgeous painting. I know I didn't get it in time, done in time for, um, for Halloween, but you know what? I, I'll paint the edges black, I believe is what I'll do. And then I will either, I don't know if I'll put it on, like go to Joann's and get like, I forget what it's called, but having the board up and like, so it can, I don't really wanna put something over the front of it is what I'm trying to say, because I feel like putting glass over the top tends to take away the shine. Um, but yeah, I am trying to think of anything else that, um, I have, there's really no issues that I had otherwise. And I mean, the colors were incredible. Um, is it Edward Neal? J. Edward Neal is the person who is the artist. And he did an incredible job. And oh, the rendering. Oh, I didn't even talk about the rendering. 
I didn't think anything needed to be talked about it because it's so incredible. Like you can just look at it and see the rendering is amazing. Like there are plenty of, like this could have, I think that if this would have been done computer rendered, this would have been incredibly um, confetti heavy, which I actually don't hate confetti. I love it to an extent. Um, actually, if you go on and you watch um, My Happy Place, my kids might be coming up the stairs. If you go and watch my happy place, she has a video called Necessary Confetti versus Unnecessary Confetti. And I it would have been unnecessary confetti in this one because there's nothing you're really blending there. And I feel like you would have lost some of the shapes. Um because I think these look like they're they're kind of oh right here. <laughs> Sorry. Like tree branches right here with some leaves. I mean that's how I think it is. Some more tree branches over here with some I mean it's very um like abstract in the background it's so cool i love this piece so so much i is it weird that i want to buy it and do it again for next halloween to do it again i mean it's out of stock right now but um it doesn't say that it's discontinued so a uh, very slight chance or, or a great chance that it might come back in stock by the time next halloween rolls around i kind of want to do it again it's so pretty i love this like gray green color that's right here i wish actually yeah you see that green color a little better it's almost a bluish green gray what would you call that like a, a sage blue sage green sea green i don't even know but it's beautiful and then this whole area up here i must save it for a last kind of person or save the best for last and i left this square and this square and this square well actually i guess this square i went through and did it this way and then I left, but I left as much as I can could of this and the fairy dust. I didn't even talk about the fairy dust. There was a fairy dust, and you can see it right here. There you go. Look at that. This pink right here. Along here. There's a whole, that's I think where the biggest patch of it was. It's all along here. Um, just an incredible color. It was so so hard to get that shine on camera compared to in person you just kind of need to have it but you can see there you go you can see the beautiful glitter coating on top um there's a lot of gapping in this but it's not diamond art club's fault like i had a lot of help and my kids really like multi-placing which funny story they call it multiversing <laughs> i don't know why but they're like, oh, mom, can I have that bigger one? I want to do, I want a multiverse, a, a seven. And I'm like, multiverse. And they still call it that. Uh, I don't want to correct them. It's so cute. Um, okay, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that I covered everything. Um, yeah, the canvas flattened out perfectly. It's a little dirty in back because we moved it so many different places. But whatever that one. This is one that I totally want to hang up. I, there's not all the diamond arts, uh, our diamond kits that I want to hang up but this is a totally going up next Halloween um I'm just laughing at myself for thinking I'd get it done in time for Halloween when I got it the 19th I was like oh that's cool I'll just get it done by Halloween and we'll hang it up on Halloween day and yeah that's not gonna happen so I'm trying to some of these I'm like worried uh I did for I to say that yeah not a popping drill issue anywhere that I could tell um no, that's not one either. Uh, yeah, and then the gapping, I think, was mostly us multiversing. <laughs> um, and and I bet I could go in and fix some of it. So, all right, guys, that's it. Uh, this is my review. It is passed with flying colors besides those, like, couple of things. And even that's nitpicking. Although, honestly, probably this, I don't even, this... From what I understand, this could maybe be the old drills. These are the old drills on WoW. But I think they're very similar to the Satura now that I've started that one. I don't think they're the old drills, but um, yeah, those L's and the, or the 523s and the, I think that's what it was. I could be wrong. And the 310s, though, were, were a little rough. Um, oh, no, it's not 523. Huh? It says it right there. It's uh, 939. And the three tens and those those got a little rough um but other than that like it's really didn't hinder that much like they got a little annoying but holy cow all of it was a joy beautiful painting i will link it in the description below in case you want to stick it on your wish list and uh get emailed 
notification for if it comes back in stock so you can get it just totally worth it guys um and now i'm excited that it's done too i'm also sad that it's done and i first big finish definitely the biggest i've had so far because i think the biggest i've had otherwise is a 30 by 40 <laughs> i mean i've done a few 30 by 40s but yeah all right that's it guys um have a nice day and die <laughs> don't have a nice day have a nice day and yeah, like and subscribe if you like content like this. I have another post review coming pretty soon. As soon as I finish Fireplace Mic Market by um, uh, for Jingle Drills. Thanks, guys. Bye.